In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make white chocolate apples. I will show you how to dip them, how to drizzle your chocolate on your apples, and of course, how to put bows on the DIY Queen Diva way. But first, let me introduce myself for those that don't know. I am the DIY Queen Diva. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends. Right here, I have my Ghirardelli white chocolate. These are wafers that I got from Walmart. Make sure you have your bamboo pop sticks, 30 count. These are from Hobby Lobby. These are Hobby Lobby's paper straws. These beautiful red, white, and blue bows come from Joann's Fabrics. I like to use a glass measuring cup because once you melt your chocolate, it keeps the chocolate hot. You will also need a spatula. I am pouring my chocolate in my glass measuring cup. I will add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. And now I will hand this chocolate over to my daughter to go to the microwave and melt in 15 second intervals. Every 15 second interval, you stir until chocolate is melted. You will also need a piping bag to pour your remaining chocolate in to drizzle your lines on your apples. You can get these from Hobby Lobby as well. I am placing my Granny Smith apples down. Make sure you support local in your area. In each Granny Smith apple, I will place my wooden stick. All you need to do to these apples is rinse and wash them off really good and just dry them off. That's it. So now I am going to place my wooden sticks inside of each apple. Place your apple down and insert the wooden stick on top of the apple. And make sure your stick is straight. Now I am going to get my paper straw and place my paper straw right on top of the wooden stick it slides right down and something about these paper straws just insert right in the apple with no problem so basically i am going to repeat the process for all of my apples Okay, now it's time to dip the apples in the chocolate. Make sure you scrape off any extra chocolate or shake off the chocolate before you place it down on your silicone mat or parchment paper. Okay, so now I am going to pour the remaining chocolate that's left inside the plastic piping bag to drizzle my chocolate on the apples. Tie your bag up or put it in a knot and then cut the tip of your bag with some scissors to make your lines. 
your apples are dry, you can go ahead and drizzle the chocolate on your apples. Now let me show you how to drizzle chocolate on your apples using the plastic piping bag. You just go back and forth with your lines and you keep repeating the process until you're completely done with all of your apples. So now that my apples are completely dry, I am going to place my cute little bows on my apples. So you basically take the twist tie and you're going to tie it around the straw until you get the bow straightened on the straw and make sure you fluff out your bow and that's it. So right now I am just twisting the twist tie around the stick and now I am going to straighten out my bow. I will put bows on all of my apples until I am done. So now I am done. Look at these beautiful apples. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends. Bye-bye.